Okay, the crime sweep is underway after a very bumpy start. Earlier, protesters forced the sheriff to scale back his sweep for a few hours. Anybody that resists, you put them in our jail. We're going to lock them up. Sheriff Joe Arpaio getting a call telling him protesters at the 4th Avenue jail are getting out of hand. Within minutes, deputies at his 19th crime suppression sweep are sent to the jail to deal with protesters blocking Sally Port doors. They are not going to hold this sheriff in my office hostage. Sheriff Arpaio also showed up at the jail this afternoon, coming face to face with protesters who say they've accomplished a lot by forcing Arpaio to scale back his crime sweep, even if it was just for a few hours. SB 1070 is unconstitutional. And it, it violates our rights. we got a lot of time. It's a big day and a long night. So they haven't delayed anything. Now they're going to get a free bologna sandwich, I know that. Arpaio kicking off what he calls Operation 1070. He says Judge Susan Bolden's injunction on 1070 won't change how he conducts his crime suppression sweep tonight. Deputies will still ask anyone they pull over their legal status with probable cause. Those found to be here illegally will be turned over to ICE instead of being arrested if they haven't committed a crime. As for today's protesters, Arpaio says they will be booked into jail. We're all going back to our command center and we're going to hit the streets. So their uh, little plan has not worked. And tonight, deputies tell us they'll patrol all over the valley, focusing in on areas with a high number of drop houses. So far, four people have been arrested. Those four people were pulled over, and it turns out they had warrants for their arrest. No telling right now if they are illegal immigrants. We're live in Phoenix. I'm Miriam Garcia, Fox 10 News.